anyone who fixed it. So this is just as a point of reference, I've got the quad connected up to beta flight and I've got the GPS uh, tab up and nothing's really going on. I know I'm indoors, but it should be picking something up a little bit better than this. Um, and I think the I think it's got something to do with the Cadex Vista and maybe those cables. The, this is the V2 though, and it has got the copper covering on, so I'm maybe something's not quite in place. So I'm gonna take the top off, take the Cadex Vista out and we're gonna see if we get a better GPS signal, even indoors. So let's do that right now. So there she is, the top off. All I'm gonna do is just disc, well, take the bolts off the top of the Cadex unit, lift her out, and then we're gonna connect it back up to beta flight and see if there's any better GPS sort of signal going on. So there we are, tops all off. Bolts are off the Calyx. We're going to take the Calyx unit just up a little bit, wiggle it out, take this antenna off as well actually, prise her off, lift the Calyx out, and I put it to the side just like that. And now, I know I've still got my props on. If you're going to do this, please take your props off. It will be a lot safer. So, connect her up. Stick a battery in. Connect her up again, and let's take a look and see if the GPS is actually any better. But it's got a signal, and it got a signal. It's got two. It's actually got. It's actually picking up a few more than it did with the Cadex unit on there. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's disconnect that. So what I'm going to do is the only thing that I can think of that it is something to do with the Cadex unit. I had the cables going underneath, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on top instead. Keep those, see if I can keep them out of the way a bit better. So it's almost flipping the unit. So when this is down, the thing that I don't actually like is the power cable, it's right by the GPS cables, and if the VTX is disturbing it, maybe the actual power cables are causing a disruption as well. I'm gonna try and zip tie the power cable over here, just so it does give a little bit of separation. And that is all I want. I'm just going to give it a little bit of separation there, and that is it. It should still sit flat, still sits flat, that's fine. So if you can see that, all I've done is put the zip tie, so it keeps the power cable over on this side, out of the way as much as possible, and it should be fine. So I'm gonna go with that. Cable on the top. I've zip tied the power cord out the way, so that actually looks like it might be okay as well. 
So you can see it's got room to actually breathe now. There's, I think I, I had all the cables just resting on each other, which was probably a little bit bad. So I've moved the Cadex Vista cable on top, zip tied the power cable at the bottom and just separated it from the actual GPS unit cables. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to also change the settings in beta flight for the uh, GPS return to home. It's set to 100. I'm going to change it to 50, so minimum as possible. Hopefully that'll help. So just before I put the top back on, we've got everything back in place. Uh, the power cable is quite nice. I've tidied up the cables that were stick that did have some cables sticking out the back over the GPS unit as well, which probably wasn't the best. Cadex Vista over the top, so hopefully that just takes them out of the way completely. There's now quite a nice bit of separation from the power cable. I don't know if you can see that. But basically the zip tie is just holding... Yeah, it's probably better from the bottom. GPS cables are there, and I've separated by keeping the power cable as far over here as possible. There really isn't any room to put any padding or another layer in there, so it's really quite tight. So, let's get this connected up to beta flight again. We're going to go over to the CLI. And we are going to type get GPS and the one we want is GPS rescue min DTH hit enter and default value is 100 GPS rescue min equals 50 because I've actually changed this already so what you actually need to put is set GPS min depth equals and then 50. Hit enter, set GPS rescues minute, that has done that. Type save, hit save, and that has reduced, sorry about the beeping, and that has reduced our minimum distance to 50, thank you, to 50 rather than 100. So there you go, we've just done those changes, and I'm gonna get the top on, and we're gonna have, the only way we're gonna find out is by going out and actually trying it again. So we're gonna do that right now. Stay there, guys. So it says we've got seven satellites connected. I don't know whether to believe it or not. We'll go for a little rip and see what happens. It says eight now, so let's try it with eight. Eight satellites, here we go then. We go up here. And I'm going to press return to home here. I throttle down. It is coming to me. So that's, I think, I don't think that's too bad, is it? It's lowering, I'm gonna take control now. I've taken control and we're off. So let's go a bit further. That wasn't too bad, was it? Let's try the return to home here. Return to home, throttle down.
So I've got no throttle on. Well, I think it's coming to me. Will it stop? There we go, it stopped just above me. So I'm gonna take control now. It's me taking control, let's try a bit further. Okay, return to home from here. Pressed, throttle down. I'm just gonna leave it. And let's see if it comes back. So this is looking pretty good to me. It is coming back. We we'll try a different direction. We we'll go down the field in a bit and see if that works. As long as it stops above me, it's leveling off. You can see it level off and it has stopped. That is right above me. And it's sort of almost turning around as well. So I'm gonna take control, taking control. Let's go down the field. I'm liking this, if this works. All those birds, bird strike. Turn to home pressed, throttle down. I think it's struggling on this one because there's a bit of wind. But it's still making it, it's coming to my position. And there, it's coming straight above me. So I'm gonna take control now. Taking control. I'm gonna land a disconnect, see if I can connect to satellites again. And then we'll try it again, because I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. We'll go a little bit further maybe. Okay, so it says we've got 10 satellites connected straight away. So let's go for flight and see what happens. Okay, we'll turn to home from here. It shouldn't really get any higher than this now. Pressed, throttle down. Still climbing though. Maybe I've got a... It is climbing. It's 
So I didn't fly that high out. I don't know where, it, where it's picked that up from. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have to change the altitude setting, but that, it's coming straight back to me. You can see me there, waving. It will stop above me now, and I will take control. So I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> I'll go and walk and get that because I've actually just ruined my battery. So that just goes to show you, you should definitely keep an eye on your battery voltage. 10 satellites, I'm getting very good satellite lock straight away now. So it's saying I've got 10 satellites. Let's go for it. Twelve satellites. So we're doing very well on the satellites. Return to home from here, so I'm going to press it. Roll down. So no throttle. Just climbing a bit. So I've got 12 satellites. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It seems to me that she's coming home. As long as it stops above me, which it is, you can see her leveling off. I'm going to take control again. I've taken control. Yeah, really happy with that. So what do you think it was then? Interference from battery cable or just the Calyx cables there? And just giving it a bit of room to breathe helped? No idea. So I'm going to do another test because I'm, I want this to really work. So we're going to press, throttle down, and we're going to let her do her thing. She's coming home. Really happy about that. Is it because it's the sun? The sun's out, or is it because something else? Who knows? But she's definitely coming back a lot better than she was. So that's a 64. So I'm going to take control again because she's definitely there. And we have her. Wait for this, there's a craft, so I'm coming in low.
So I'm going to hang around by the trees while this craft just goes. Let's go return to home, throttle down, hands off. Still no hands. Really weird, taking your hands off the controller. Gonna let her come home. See, that's me down there, not actually doing anything. She's above me. I am going to take control. Taking control, and we're off again. So yeah, very cool. Really happy about that. There you go guys, seemed to work. See you back in my little office. There we go guys, that was the GPS return to home flights and as you saw, it seemed to work absolutely perfectly. So I am I'm over the moon. This is my happy voice. Really, really happy about that to be honest with you. Now I can go out and do some more flights, I can do some long distance, not worry. Click that um, return to home and I know it's gonna come back. So that is, that is really, really good, really happy about that. Just to go over the things that I did, I just basically separated the um, CADEX cable. So I had the cables going underneath and I put them over the top instead. So I got rid of any interference they may be causing. And just in case the battery cable was causing any interference whatsoever, I just separated it and held it in place with a zip tie. And the only other thing was the um, Betaflight CLI. I just lowered the um, return to home distance to 50 meters instead of 100. And 50 is the lowest you can go. So maybe it was a combination of all of them. Maybe it was just one of those, but it seems to have sorted out all the issues that I had. It seemed to connect to the satellites a lot better or a lot faster as well. So definitely reduced the interference and definitely sorted my issue out. So hopefully this may help someone else out there. Just literally look at how your CADEX is actually installed, where these cables are, and if they're actually causing an interference. But yeah, I'm completely over the moon about that. Really, really happy. Explorer all fixed and ready to go. Hopefully this video will help someone else out there as well who's struggling with their return to home. Hit that thumbs up guys, smash that subscribe, and let's keep on doing these. I'll see you again. Cheers.